So as a teacher um, in Schoology, I can actually view uh, my course as a student, and it's a nice uh, quick trick that is good to know. So over here in course options, I can click down, and of course I'm working in my practice course, my sandbox course, and so this isn't a true rostered uh, class for me. So, but I can choose this view course as, just so y'all can kind of get a preview of what it looks like and um, have one of my colleagues who's registered as a student and I'm able to actually to go and view um, what the course looks like and those assignments um, that I just assigned uh, to her. And so here I have the STEM Scopespedia. I can open this up and I can view it as my student would. I'm able to scroll down and please notice that the accessibility toolbar is there. I'm able to, just as if I was on this, the STEM Scope site, I'm able to use the accessibility toolbar. I can increase font. I am able to um, turn on the text to speech. And of course, Reflect, I'm going to take you a little bit of day, So you might take it for granted but most that tool of is there. Again, all the other accessibility tools, the dictionary mode, the highlighting, um, everything that you need here, if they needed to print it, all the accessibility, uh, accessibility toolbar is there. So as I scroll down, students would read through the information. And then at the bottom, of course, we have some questions to follow up. As we get down here to the what do you know, uh, we're able to see the uh, follow up reading questions. The students are able to complete that assignment there. And then also the connecting with your child is going to be a great resource um, as we have um, off-campus learning and learning happening at homes. This is a great resource for parents and students to extend their learning and apply their learning on what they have just read. So there is um, how STEM Scopespedia looks from the student perspective.